What's good, everyone? How y'all doing today? Just the other night, Cyrax was up to his dastardly old tricks again. He told Marty, hey, boot up a stream, because I got something I want to give you. And Cyrax's gift? Well, it, it wasn't necessarily a gift, more as it was a, a trick. It was a trick that he wanted to pull on Marty to get him back for all these years of harassment and all the bad stuff that Cyrax had to go through. Now, did this trick work? No. Did Marty fall for anything Cyrax was trying to put out? No. Um, did Cyrax make himself look like the ass of all this in the end? Uh, you already know the answer to that one. That's kind of kind of the constant in all these Cyrax videos. But it was just a wild, wild time. Because Cyrax joined and tried to get Marty to open up this, this really suspicious link that Cyrax wanted Marty to open up live on stream. Um, you guys can take guesses in the comments what you think it was. But you'll find out soon enough. And then after that, they, they decided to have a nice a nice chat with the police together, talking about the legality of the Xbox interference and, and all that good stuff. So you guys are in for a good one today. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So kick back, relax, and enjoy, enjoy this absolute nonsense coming from Cyrax, because I know you guys will. And one last thing I say in all these videos, but Marty's channel and the original unedited video is in the link in the description below. If you if you hate hearing my commentary over it, that's the place you should go and watch it. And you know what? Even if you even if you you do like my commentary, you gotta go watch these full streams on Marty's channel. You know, I cut out a lot of the stuff to try to make these like really condensed, but there is so much good shit I had to cut out of this one. I, I implore you, go over there and watch it. And you will have you will have yourself many many laughs. But yeah, let's get into it. James, what's going on? Hey, Nick. So, I know how you're a huge fan of my artwork and stuff and whatnot, and I got something for you. Now, I can't send, obviously, the thing directly, and my computer's not allowing me to do a screen share for whatever reason. So, I wanted to get your personal input on this to see what you think about this. I'm going to send it to you in private chat. Okay, well, what I like more than... I like so, check the, just, just check it out. I just want you to check it out real quick. Well, hang on I, a second here. I just want it, to it's, right, it's right there in private chat. Oh, what's... Just, 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 just check it out, man. Let me know what you think. Well, what's it of? It's an image I did earlier today that I created. And don't worry, it's nothing bad. You don't have to worry about being porn bomb. You have my word that it's not porn. It's actually a really cool texture style image that I wanted to know what you thought because I've see I've been seeing a lot of your stuff and I, I kind of see what you're getting out of the stuff and I wanted to get your input on this to maybe work out a deal. So just check out the image. Well, what, what kind of deal? Just, just, just check out the image and we'll talk about that in a minute. I'm confused. The, don't be confused, man. Just check out the image right quick. Come on, just, just check it out. Anyone with half a brain can tell that Cyrax is obviously, he's up to some weird little trick trying to trick Marty into clicking this. Now, if you're watching this and confused as to, you know, why is this so suspicious? Well, because Cyrax always freaks out when he's talking to Marty. And you, right now, Marty has something that Cyrax wants so badly that he can't even contain his anger on Marty. So to see him show up... <laughs> on Marty's panel and be so calm and reserved just to give Marty a gift. It's some Trojan horse shit. I'm telling you all that right now. Because what Cyrax has here and what he wants Marty to click on so badly is an IP grabber or, or something like that. They like a phishing link. I don't I don't know what these things are. All I know is if Marty clicked on that, Cyrax would have been able to see where he was at. Now, I don't know who the fuck put Cyrax up to this, because you know, you know damn well that Cyrax couldn't have come up with this one on his own. But, I'll tell you this much, Cyrax came in here really confident that Marty was just gonna just, just eat that bait hook, line, and sinker, no no questions asked. And he's gonna have a much harder time getting Marty to, to hover over to that link and click it and make all of Cyrax's dreams come true. Hmm... I promise you, man, I'm not, I'm not coming at you with some weird shit. You have my word. I'm not coming at you with some crazy shit, bro. Just check it out. Believe me, I, I'd i be more than happy to. Then do it. This is my gift to you as a peace treaty. Come on, let's talk business before pleasure. Like, oh, no, but let, let, let's just get the pleasure out of the way first right quick. Then that way we, we can get to the business stuff in a minute. This is my peace offering to you. For actually allowing, for actually, you know what, the, the, this right here, you know what, 
forget about the business idea of things. This right here is my personal thank you to you for actually getting me back in the dance, bro. Like, because of you and my friend Kat and a couple of my other friends, like, you got me back into that shit. So this is my way of saying thank you. So check it out. Okay, well, I'm glad they brought up dancing. But See, these two are on two completely different wavelengths because all Cyrax wants is for Marty to desperately click that link. And all Marty wants is to see Cyrax get down again. He loves that dancing from Cyrax. And don't worry, if you're a big fan of, uh, of Cyrax's his sweet, groovy moves, like, guys, there's more coming very soon because the business that Marty speaks of is Cyrax's, uh, is Cyrax's stellar dance moves. Now, here's the thing, though. I already mentioned <laughs> Cyrax, he's just, he's a broken record over and over with please click the link click the link he's so desperate to do it i just kind of cropped out a lot of the parts of this like just listen he just goes on and on with this shit just check out the image man well it is what it is but just check out the image man just go ahead and check out the link man just check it out go ahead and just check it out so just check it out man come on just check out the link bro so just go ahead and check it out man i think you'll actually enjoy it i'm coming at you in good faith man i'm coming at you in good faith here you swear I swear on my life. Swear on your mother's life? I swear on my whole family's life. I don't know, Chance. You've got my word, man. I swear to God. Then check out the link. Just check it out. I would just prefer to get the business taken care of, and then we can look at whatever you'd like to look at. All right. Want to keep a track? Let's talk about business first. So Cyrax is just, he, he's given up. He's like, all right, if I want to, if I want to get this done, I'm going to have to eat a little bit of shit first. And that shit is just, uh, it's maybe his dance moves, but I don't know. Cyrax, he gets down. He gets passionate when, uh, when it's time to show off these moves from Marty and for the world. I really think he could make a living at this, you know, just being like one of the thriller zombies. Like I'm telling you, bro, one day we're going to be seeing that name, Michael Raxon in lights. It's going to, he's going to be the next big thing, but come on, let's be real here. He just, swore on all of his family's lives over what is so obviously a lie. This just shows a bunch of things. Shows that Cyrax has absolutely no problem lying his ass off over and over and over and just acts like everybody else is, uh, everyone else is crazy for not believing him. He is... He, he, he wants to be manipulative. He wants to be a gaslighter. But he's just too fucking... He's too... He's too hollow-headed to do so. Cyrax, he, he, he wants to be a liar. He wants to do all these things, and he thinks people are going to fall for them because in his mind, he's a genius. But in the real world, when Marty and the thousand other people in his chat heard this, everybody, even someone like Tony the Black Dragon, could have understood that Chance was full of shit. And as you can see, Marty led him on to the point where we're about to watch right now. Because if you enjoyed Cyrax's dance moves the other day, you're in for a second dose, my friends. Because Cyrax, uh, he, he saw no other option than to, than to boogie down a little bit. Okay, let's see, let's go. Oh, hang on, let me cue up the music. Let me cue up the music here. Hang on one second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Like, put it this way, all right? I'll, I'll give the goblin this. He could have half-assed this, right? He could have sat there and just flossed for, like, <laughs> flossed for five minutes. He hit, hit the gritty in his bedroom. Actually, I'd like to see Cyrax hit the gritty. But, like, he really just got into full, like, ah, oh, my, my heart is in anguish, and I'm just gonna just let it out and with my, <laughs> with these, these violent dance moves of mine. Like, he's dancing with his heart and soul. You gotta, you gotta respect the goblin for that. Um, do you give him an Xbox because of it? Fuck no. Fuck no, but you gotta respect it. You gotta respect it. And so, after this, Marty told Cyrax that he opened up the link. Yep, yeah, so just check it out, man. Let me know what you think. I'm excited to see what you, the big man himself, the big dog, the big kahuna, the big businessman, thinks about this image. 
Well, I mean, I just got to see like the live action of it. Oh, well, oh, poor Ryan. Okay. So just go ahead and check it out, man. Let me know what you think. Oh wow, it's pretty cool, actually. What are you? Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> motherfucker! I got you, Nick. I actually didn't open it. Oh, but you did. No, I posted it in the chat. No, you checked it out. I definitely posted it in the chat. Mm hmm. What do you mean you got me? I have all your info right here, boy. Okay, well, then read it. So, here, no, no, no. Here's how it's going to work. Yeah. If you don't lay your hands off the Xbox, yeah. I can easily send your IP address. To the police, they will trace it back to you. And guess what? I oh, will have, have, have all your info, which means yeah. I can press charges against you, Mark. Well, why don't you read to me where I'm at? I would imagine that there's a lot of clicks on that, actually. Why would I need to? Why are there, I did, by any chance, are there a lot of clicks on it? Really, I mean, oh, by the way, I do have all your trolls' infos as well, so they'll be taken down as well. So Cyrax thought that Marty opened up the IP grabber, when in reality what Marty did was he put it in the chat and hundreds of people opened it. Now, I was watching this live, but I wasn't paying attention to the chat, so I don't know if that's true or not. All I know is it would be hilarious if Cyrax really did just get hundreds of different addresses, because you know that would have fucked with him so hard. Uh, he does claim there at the end, though, <laughs> he does claim that, you know, oh, well, now I got all these troll addresses, too. So if you are someone who clicked on that, you're one of, like, 400 people, you can probably expect an angry call from Cyrax sometime this week. It's, just, it's inevitable at this point. And look, we all know he does this a lot, but in this video in particular, just watch how many times Cyrax is going to say things like, oh, well, I got your information, but that's for me to know and for you not to know. Uh, you'll find out eventually. Uh, I'd bet you like to know that. Like, he just constantly, when, when he gets called out on something that he has no proof of, even though he claims he always has proof of everything, it's always like, uh, well, you'll find out one day, or, uh, well, Marty, you're just too dumb to realize it, or something like that. Like, he, he'll do this over and over in these calls. It's, uh, it gets kind of obnoxious from the guy but he, he, what, what do you expect? It's Cyrax. He's not gonna. He's is he not gonna be insufferable? Okay. So Nick, we can do this one of two ways. All right, because yeah. you're all in right. no position to bargain right now, bro. You're in you no. Mean? You're in no position to bargain. If well, you value your info, it's not my info. I didn't click it. Actually, it is, Nick. Oh, so where am I? You'll have to find that out for yourself, won't you, fat boy? I'm using a VPN anyways. It don't matter. This goes right through the VPN and right to your IP address, bitch. Okay, so I, know, I know where I'm at. Why don't you tell me where I'm at? I'm not going to say shit. That's for you to find out and for me to know now, isn't it, big boy? Oh, oh you just don't get it, do you, Marty? No, I'm trying to understand. I see anybody suspicious. All I gotta do is get their license plate number, and the cops just gotta run their plates. That's all it is. Simple as that. Well, one but, time you, but yeah, you, yeah, you're too stupid to understand that, are you, Marty? You're too That's dumb to realize that I'm smarter than you. I have outsmarted you in every single way possible. You're oh, yeah? just you're just trying to look for a way out because you're desperate. Because I won't give you the shitty content that you don't deserve. You don't deserve me. You don't deserve the content that comes from me. The only thing you deserve is to be behind bars, rotting in prison, like the piece of shit that you are. Well, so, I Nick, think... so Nick, what's it gonna be, fat ass? Are you going to step off, or do I get to give the police the info and you conspiring to steal a package and have your accomplice? arrested along with you for theft which mind you is not just a legal matter that is a federal matter so, so, they, so they ain't getting off easy buddy so if i was you nick 
I'd think real hard, boy. I'd think real hard about my next steps because your next steps could be your last. You got me? You ain't in no position to bargain. You ain't. You're just trying to worm your way out. You're mad because I shut you down just like I shut down Courtney. You're mm -hmm. mad. You can't stand it. You so, can't stand yeah, it. If making death threats is illegal, then wouldn't you be arrested for threatening to kill everyone's kids? Well, let's see. You brought this on yourself seven years ago, didn't you, Nick? I don't think it, so. What do the kids do to bring it upon them? Well, let's see. You threatened to kill my family. You threatened to rape my family. What I did was in pure self defense, and the police know that I would never actually act upon my actions. But you, my friend, have acted upon your actions. You have actually tried to kill me. You remember, me, you remember me being shot at? I already know that you're the one that came up with right, that. That was a rat trap, dude. No, it was not. Like that was what I saw that really happened. Yeah. Everybody saw the bullet holes. Everybody saw the video footage. I have full on video proof of you attempting to murder me. Now, how do you think the police are going to take that when they find the bullet, which I will be digging out of my bed here in a couple of days? You, you haven't done that yet? What's stopping you? Dealing with your good ass. So in this clip, I got to point out two things. Cyrax brings up that the police are still apparently investigating the shooting that happened like in his window <laughs> that he still for some reason believes was a shooting and not a rat trap, which it clearly was. He says he's going to dig the bullet out eventually. He's just been letting it marinate, just, just ferment inside of his, uh, his mattress for a few months. But the big thing to talk about there is that Marty brings up that recently Cyrax had threatened this girl, saying that Cyrax would take out her kids and everything. Now, this isn't the first time he's done this. If you listen to my video, uh, Cyrax and the 14-year-old, he threatened to take out, like, Kate and her whole family, like, just as so that the, the word of him being a pedo didn't get out there. Well, now he was willing just to do this over a fucking Xbox, <laughs> you know, just because this is, this is real serious shit here. And when Marty asks him about this, he, he can never just answer honestly and say you know what like maybe that's messed up or even own up to it and go yeah you know what i will do that he just says oh well now you pushed me to that point and you do so much worse marty what about the time you did this it's like what does marty have to do with this kid like you're just threatening this person's kid because of something marty did to you that's entirely on you he tries to say oh the police know i'd never do anything i i don't think that's the truth i think the police probably have a good eye on you cyrax because they think something Something like that could possibly happen any one of these days, because you are, as Marty puts it, a 43. And so, shortly after this, Cyrax leaves the stream, and Marty says, you know, if he comes back, I have no problem calling the Akron PD and telling them, like, everything that's going on, and asking them if it's illegal or not, because if you've listened to anything Cyrax has said over the past few weeks, this man is adamant that he can get Marty put in jail at any second. Now, he's been adamant about that for years now, but this time, because there's an Xbox involved, he is sure as shit that the cops are just gonna swoop in right on Cy Cyrax's beck and call, just get Marty and put him away so Cyrax's Xbox is back where it's rightfully should be. And so, as he's prone to do, Cyrax does join Marty's stream again, and Marty Marty owns up to his uh to what he said. They give the Akron PD a call. We're gonna listen to this in its entirety. I ain't gonna cut in at all. So just just enjoy this. Hey Cyrax. Hello, Marty. So I hear that you are willing to confess to what you have done. Am I right? A thousand percent. Now, me, I, don't want, I don't want no motherfucking slick shit either, Marty. Yeah, this no, is it's, it's, I'm looking up the number right now. I got, the number, I got the number right here. Check the private chat. That's the number. Huh. Now, I don't want you fucking trying any slick shit because if you do, I got it on recording. No slick shit. And you right. better not sit there and try to say that I'm doing shit because you know I ain't. Okay, here, I'm going to just get okay, here one second. Let me get this off of here. I have a chat. Um, okay, three three zero three seven five two five five two is that? Yep. Hang on a second here. And before before you do call them, Marty, I just have one question for you. Sure. Why is it like what made you want to fuck with me all these years, knowing that I didn't deserve any of this? How many times have I answered that? Well, you never gave me a real direct 
answer. Okay. What well, I'm, I'll tell you what I've always told you. What I'm basically getting at is, what makes you want to, wait? Why do you feel like you have to do this? Well, um, because, and you're not going to like my answer, but do you want to hear it? I want the real answer, not some, oh, I don't, I'm not, you're not going to like the answer. I want it's, the right, is yeah, it well, It's a real answer. answer. It's a real answer. The real answer is that you're a delusional piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Sure I am. That's, That's why I got your ass, ain't it? What do you mean? That's why I got all your info. If I'm so delusional, then why am I fucking smarter than you? So what is my info? Like I said, just, just call the fucking cop. Just call the damn PD like you said you were going to do. Let's get this over with because I got shit to do. One second. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Come on, 30 seconds. It's, it's, I'm calling. If you have a life-threatening emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Otherwise, listen to the following options. If you need a police officer or to make a police report, press 1. If you need arrest, bond, or ticket information, press 2. If you need towed vehicle information, press 3. If you need Akron Fire Department information, press 4. For the Akron Detective Bureau, press 5. If you need the police record room, press 6. For the Police Patrol Bureau, press 7. Press 1. Press 8. Okay. Wait while I transfer you a call. Akron Police and Fire. Hi, how are you doing tonight? Good, how are you? Well, um, pretty good. Um, somebody that I know, I guess, is informing me that I'm guilty of committing a crime, and I'm trying to understand if they're right or not. If they're right, I want to come in and give a full confession. Okay. Okay, so um, this man's friend, I'm sure you're pretty well aware of him at this point. He's a known 43. Um, somebody out of the kindness of their heart wanted to send him an Xbox. I informed this guy of his misdeeds. Oh, see, there you go, Mark. Uh, so here he is talking here. This guy's insane. You're well aware of him, I'm sure. Actually, but, no, I'm not insane. Uh, he, he keeps talking here. Um, but I basically told this guy about... Hey, Marty, why are you lying at you? And he decided to put an intercept on the package and have it rerouted back to him. Um, is anything about that illegal? Did he pay for the product? Yeah, he purchased the product and he paid for the shipping and then found out uh, about... Chance Wilkins, like the local 43, and then he's like, you know what? I don't think this guy deserves it, and I'm going to have it rerouted back to me. Actually, no, you're having it rerouted to you, Marty. Tell the truth. There you go, fucking lying, Marty. I mean, I don't think there's anything illegal about it, but he's trying to convince me that there is, and I just Actually, don't... there is. If you fuck yeah. with a federal package after it reaches its destination, that is illegal. Yes. I mean, it, it'd be different if, if Chance paid for the item mm -hmm. and the person intercepted the routing. Well, yeah, I didn't. It's funny because I didn't even say his name, but you know who I'm talking about when I say 43. You did say his name, though. So. Okay. Well, maybe I did then. Okay. Well, fair enough. I was just wondering how familiar you are with him. But yeah, so there if you should have a chance and then decided, you know what, this guy's like a known creep pedo. Uh, and I don't think you should have it anymore, then I didn't do anything wrong there, right? No. Okay. Well, well, because the person inter... Right, all right. Like, canceled the package. You, you have nothing to do with it. No, I just, I, I let them know what kind of person he is, and he's like, you know what? I don't think they should have the Xbox Okay, anymore. and that's, that's, on, that's, a, that's a moral thing. That's not an illegal thing. That's what I thought. Um... Does it matter if he... You, you yeah. have nothing to do with a package. Uh, You've done nothing illegal. You would have done something illegal had you stolen the package. Right. That's illegal. Well, and I want to be honest, too. Like, he, he had it rerouted back to him, and he feels that I'm deserving of it. He wants to give it to me, but, like, there's nothing illegal about that, I don't think. Yeah, that's, that's a whole 
whole thing between the three of you. Right. That's that's. If, the... it's, if it's this guy's Xbox and he wants to send it to somebody as a gift, who is deserving of it? That's on him. That's mm-hmm. his decision. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. And I don't know if there's anything weird or fishy about this, but like. He's he's sending me these links trying to obtain my personal information. Like I don't know if that's a gray area. Um, yeah, I probably wouldn't click anything. Yeah, right. Uh, well, I didn't. I didn't. I. Uh, no, you you shouldn't have to give him a social. You shouldn't have to give him any money to get something. No. Hmm. If that's the case, then that's a scam. Yeah. Well, um, gl- I'm glad I didn't click that link then. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I, I'm glad you could clear that up. Like, this this guy, he's, he's insane. I, I don't know how... I don't know if, like, everyone there is apprised of him, this Chance Wilkins guy. D- have you heard that name yeah, before? I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, if we are, that's not really something that I can discuss. Okay, I understand. All right, well, then, yeah. th- thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, You're welcome. No right. problem. You have a good night. Bye-bye. All right, bye. They all know who he is. They they all know who he is. Cyrax got his ass out of there quick once he realized that he had nothing on Marty. Once he realized that the cops weren't going to be on his side and that he would have nothing to hold over Marty's head. But trust me, that's not going to stop the goblin. He's about to join Marty's stream back pretty soon and act like he still has everything on Marty. That call didn't even matter because who cares about the police? Like, it's so, it's so funny. I can't wait to show y'all it. But for real, Marty is just talking to the, the police woman or whoever's on the phone there. And she's telling him, like, look. There's nothing illegal about rerouting a package to someone else. It's that simple. It's more of a moral thing. If he thinks you should get it over this other guy, then then who cares, right? And Cyrax, he can't handle that. And it also shows how he can't even sit there and just have a logical conversation with this uh, this person over the phone and Marty. He just has to be like, you lying fuck. Like, you're so full of shit and just keep talking over even the lady on the phone. You know, once she stopped him and was like, look, here's how it works. Cyrax was like, no, no, fuck this. Like, enough of this. The fact that you're not just willing to just hang up the phone and go right after him and get my Xbox, that, that to Cyrax means that they're not on his side. If you're not willing to drop everything and just put all your time and effort into helping Cyrax get his main goal, then you're not on Cyrax's side, and fuck you. That's what, that's what he thinks. That's what Cyrax thinks, so that's what happened right there. And, um, but like I said, he comes right back. Of course he does, because he can't stay away forever. So let's see what happens when he comes back. Hey, Cyrax, what's going on? Uh, Cyrax, well why are you swearing on your whole family's life on a lie? You've done worse, Marty. Way have worse. I? Have I? Oh, you have. Like threatening what? to murder, threatening to murder my family, threatening to annihilate Michael's family. I and let's, and let's, not, and let's not, let's not forget trying to kill me or have somebody kill me while I was on live stream. So trust me, I say, Nick, you've done way, way worse. Well, if. Well, nothing. Maybe that's what's happened. Fuck up, dude. Shut the fuck up, dude. What would you like to call me? Right, right, what you don't seem to understand is this. Yeah. Okay. You're delusional as fuck. You just you swore on your whole family's life on a lie. What the fuck you're doing anymore? Swore on your whole family's life on a lie. What kind of piece of shit does that? <laughs> what kind of piece of shit tries to intercept the package just for laughs and giggles? Oh, wait. You dumb fuck. What do you think is worse? What do you think is worse? What do you think is worse? Intercepting a package or threatening? Intercepting a package, clearly. A package. <laughs> Stealing a package is worse than swearing on your family's life on a lie in Cyrax's eyes. Look, I'm just gonna say it. He he has no problem lying. At this point, I don't even think he knows when he's lying and telling the truth anymore. He knows that he has to deny, 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 and lie about everything if he wants to look good in the eyes of all these people online and the trolls. Because I've brought it up a million times, Cyrax always thinks he's one step ahead of these people. And to do that, he has to lie about everything to make himself sound so far above these people. And for him to just, him to brush under the rug the fact that he had no problem swearing on his family's life, the people he claims that he cares about so much that he goes to bat for every time these trolls, these trolls harass them and make their lives hell, something that Cyrax never does himself, obviously, but he has no problem saying that shit, blatantly lying about it, swearing on Sally, his own mother's life, 
And, you know, it's just, well, Marty, you've done way worse, so who cares? Like, what, what kind of response is that? I mean, come on, like, that's, Cyrax, he always does this. It's classic Cyrax deflection to just say, oh, well, look what you've done. But no, like, just, like, I would love for Marty, and you can't really do it, to have pressed him on that, but, I mean, he's not going to answer it anyway. And be like, like, why, why is it about me? Like, talk about what you did. How are you going to lie on your family's life? And just say, eh, whatever, because he has no problem lying. It's fucking crazy with Cyrax, man. <laughs> but, like, at the end there with him saying, oh, it's, it's so much worse to steal a package, clearly, than to lie and swear on my family's life. Like, he's terrible. He's terrible sometimes. Well, I would say that... Shut your fucking bitch ass up. Shut your bitch ass up, Nick. You're huh? mad because I got your little cronies on fucking lockdown, bitch. And for all y'all in the comments, don't think that I ain't got all y'all's fucking info. I got all your guys' IP addresses, and trust me, I have every single little bit of fucking info where you guys live, what system you're on. So trust me when I say I'm not the one to fuck with, boys. Huh. Trust me when I say this, y'all. If Marty here don't fuck off, you guys are gonna be next, just Why? like. So what they do they do? You run their asses, bitch. You what run do do? their asses. Marty, don't play fucking cute with me, boy. Don't play fucking cute with me, kid. What did the chap do? Why are they going to prison? For enabling your ass, bitch. For enabling me? Well. They're enabling you to do this shit. Well, They're egging can... you on to do this shit, which makes them just as fucking guilty as you. So, so basically... just what I'm saying, Nick. I'm not the one to fuck with, boy. You see, Cyrax likes to twist what people say and turn it into something he can use for his benefit. So when Marty told Cyrax that he posted that link in chat, Cyrax looks at it as, well now I have a thousand people's doxes. So everybody in the chat, guess what? Your futures are depending on Marty's actions now. He just, he'll do whatever it takes. He'll lie on people's lives. He'll threaten thousands of people in the chat. He'll threaten people's kids, all in pursuit of this goddamn Xbox. It's, it's everything to him. I can't stress that enough. You're mad because I'm above your ass now. You can't see that I'm not your little fucking puppet no more. You can't see that I'm up here and you're still way the fuck down on ground fucking level. What do you mean? You're fucking mad because I'm not your fucking puppet. You're mad that I'm actually fighting back. And I'm actually thinking... You're not my puppet. Yeah, when, when I pull your strings, you dance. I would say that you are nah, my puppet. No, no, no. See, yeah, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah, I yeah, wanted yeah. you to think that I'm your puppet. You want to know why? I wanted you to think that I was your puppet. This is exactly why right here. I okay. got you right where I fucking want you. Which is okay. where? Where? Well, let's see. If you don't cut the crap, your ass will be fucking heading to prison within a fucking week easily, boy. For what? Intercepting a package, and you can't tell the me that. Police, the police just said that it was Fuck perfectly legal. The they don't know shit. They don't know jack shit about nothing. Then who's, then who's gonna arrest me? Who's gonna arrest me? Easy. All you gotta do is let the FBI know what's up, show them all the proof, and guess what? They're gonna be the ones looking into it, and they're gonna be knocking at your door as Would well. Would you like me to call the out. FBI? Shut the fuck up, Nick. We'll call them for you, and I'll Shut admit to everything you've done. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, Nick. Okay. Because you know how why that'll are, go. Why are you so mad that I'm not your little bitch anymore? Why can't you create your own content like me? I think you are. Why do you have to be such a fucking delusional little bitch? I, I think you that you like, nah, 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 Shut the oh. fuck up. You, you prove You're, everything. Nah, shut the fuck up, boy. Okay. You're, shut up. You're mad because I'm not your little fucking bitch. You're mad because I'm fighting back legally. Mm. Unlike you. Unlike you, I'm not dumb. Unlike you, I'm not delusional. And honestly, unlike you... I don't let shitty little fucking raccoons steal my goddamn food. So oh, what? They, they, they took me from the chat. What happened? Oh. Nigga, shut your bitch ass up, boy. Why do you like the raccoon thing so much? Well, why do you like being a little bitch so much? There's something so funny to me about him just like brushing off the police like, yeah, what do they know about the law? This is something that the FBI has to handle. At the end of the day, all that matters is that he's right and Marty's wrong. If the FBI ends up telling him that Marty's in the right, well, it doesn't matter. It's even above them, too. We better we better head to the fucking Supreme Court or some shit next. Like, we gotta get all the people's input on this. 
And something that Cyrax brings up to Marty, it's something that a lot of locales bring up at the people who are like their adversaries, is they say, oh, make original content. Stop just using me for your content. Well, Cyrax, your content is you singing over other artists' songs, where you can't even hear your own voice. You can just hear them, and you just kind of are like, yeah, in the background, just just growling away. Your other content is you putting your camera towards your TV and playing video games. I hardly call that original. Uh, that's some DSP shit claiming that's some original, fresh content you play in a fucking video game. I know that's a lot coming from me, someone who streams themselves playing WWE all the time, but the point stands. I don't claim that as original. Uh, but Cyrax here, he thinks all of his shit is just brand new, never-before-seen shit, you know? The art he's stolen, the music he's stolen, he's all original, but nobody else is. He's just like everybody else, but he'll never be able to see that. Dude! Do you even hear yourself half the time, dude? Yeah. You sound delusional as fuck. I'm you sound delusional. Like a fucking idiot. You're you talking about like the FBI is gonna come shut and take me out. Shut the fuck up, man. It's crazy. Hey, bitch, man. Why don't you shut up when your dad's speaking to you, bitch? Oh, okay. Why don't you sit down and shut the fuck up? Okay. Just see, Marty. Here's the difference between me and you, tough guy. Or we can, we can, we can guy. call many differences, I'm sure. Shut the fuck up. Uh -huh. See, the difference between me and you, I'm real as fuck. You're fake as fuck. Your I life make, is a lie. I make, I make real original content. You steal content. I try to do good shit. You try to tear me down. I get ahead of you. You try to fuck me over. See, you see how this whole game works? It don't make no sense. When did you do this so original? Shut the fuck up. You're mad because I'm making hey, you go on your own goddamn street. How's it feel kid. knowing your mom's uh, playing your own phone? Your mom's playing your own phone. You're all barking no bite, How did that conversation go? You're all barking no bite, bitch. How did that conversation go? How did she see that image? <laughs> how, like, how, who did someone text it to her? Like, how did she see you eat your own cum? Uh, Marty, Did Marty. you show it to her? You really are stupid, ain't you, fat ass? <laughs> God, that's something I was thinking, too, after hearing Marty on the phone with Sally the other day. She really had to see her own grandson eating his own, like, <laughs> like stuff. Like, a video of him doing that. And, like, come on. Come on. Like, just imagine, for one, imagine you're a parent and seeing a video of your 32-year-old son just doing that all over the internet. And then, you know, put yourself in Chance's shoes. Imagine being this sheltered, like, child-minded Chance. Being like, oh, fuck, Mom's gonna see that video of me doing that. Like, dude, what the fuck? It's just a situation that, like, no family, no normal family ever has to go through. It's just a normal day in the Wilkins household. Chance eating his own spunk on fucking camera. Day oh, one of this shit going on. I've been studying you know what that lady said? I'll tell you, you right now, said? bitch boy. Hey, fuck up. Why don't yeah. you shut up? Why you heard what you said, shut though. Shut up, bitch. Okay. Shut up, pussy boy. You just heard, you heard it within two shut years. Shut up, bitch, man. Whatever. You ain't, no, don't want ever me, bitch. You I'm heard it. It speaks for I'm itself. I'm your daddy, bitch. I'm your owner. I'm okay. your master. You're my slave, bitch. All right. I'm your owner, so sit down and shut up. Okay. No, 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 shut up. You only speak unless spoken to. Are we clear on that? Are we clear? Can we answer? Like, I don't know how to answer the question without speaking. Can I speak? Yes, sir, or no, sir. Is all okay. You okay. All right. Now, let me tell you something, Marty. Yes, sir. Unlike you, I'm technically savvy. You're not. No, sir. Wow. You, you really think you're playing cute, don't you? Can I ask a question, sir? Can I ask you a question, sir? Go ahead. Did you hear the police say that there's nothing illegal about a man? Oh, out? there is. So what do they not know that you do? Everything. And just like normal, Cyrax thinks he's right in every occasion. Everybody else is wrong, even the police. Nobody knows the truth quite like Cyrax. He'll never admit to anything he's done. He'll never tell the truth about a damn thing. But in his mind, he's always right. He's always number one. He's always above Marty. And nothing will ever change that. 
and it's just this happens all the time with Cyrax, but it's just it's always funny to see how it unfolds because the end result is usually always the same, but the the road to get there is what's always different, and that's the fun part. And uh, that's where we're gonna leave off today. But I do have one other piece of news I wanted to talk about, and it's uh it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad, and that news is that some some person, some asshole, decided that they were going to give Cyrax a new Xbox. Even after Marty and these guys did all this to intercept the first one, some fucking... Some degenerate person decided that, hey, I'm gonna give this known predator a tool to get back online and just have a friends list full of all these underage kids he meets on Fortnite. That seems like a good move. Like, whoever did this, shame on you. Just shame on you. Why, why do you think that you need to cough up some of your own hard-earned money to buy this particular person an Xbox? Like, most people, most people have to save up a few weeks. Most people have to be like, man, like, I gotta work to get that. But you just give it to Cyrax. Some, <laughs> this, this predator grandma beating guy <laughs> online who just begged for it and you decided, cool, cool, whatever, he can have it. That just... I don't know, man. I don't know. Never give anything to Cyrax, my friends. I'd imagine it will not end very well for the person who gave him that. That's all I will say. If you know anything about the people surrounding Cyrax, giving Cyrax anything is a big no-no. And I don't blame them for feeling that way. So, I hope we get some rage soon. Cyrax might be too preoccupied playing with that Xbox that he has so much lost time that he needs to catch up with on it. Uh, so, who knows? Who knows what happens with Little Rax next? But I'll be sure to let y'all know when the funny stuff happens, because you always know you can find it here. I do want to say, as I always do, go watch the full stream. Go check out Marty's channel. It's down in the link in the description below. That's where we get all this stuff from. None of this, none of this content ever really comes out unless it's on Marty, so you you gotta go show the guy love. So, with that being said, I want to give shouts out to Vanessa, Scaly Schisms, Feelings Party Place, Churlish, Your Mom, Mick Surly, Adrian Lara, Sky Fitzpatrick, Alright Stingy, G-Man, Wade Pauls, Trademark, Commander Louie, Not So Crabby, Justin S., The Ghostbusters Fan, Steve from Machete Squad, Vaga, Italian Boy Advance, SK Rux, Bullet BP, Symphysist, Fat Potato, Dan Dan Noodles, Emery, Try Give Black Tiger, ATK Cast, Jason Breen, Philly B, Bass Trucker, Robot Gorilla Man, Chat Creeper, Soda Joe, the United States Department of Homeland Security, Seal Currently, Eric Estrada, Everborn, Jurassic Clark, Akiba's Beat Fan, Pokemon Trainer Andre, Cowboy Pete, Hillbilly Wizard, Sora Trash, Hurricane Salem, Jay's Sweet Berries, Prideful Jester, Cyanide Candy, Smokey's Dealer, Kiwi Bros, Griffin Shivo, Chef Meme Maker, Austin Vidal, Club Doom, Alex, Sarah's Van, Gryphon, Gord Believer, Jay Avarice, Tilted Jay, Kostai, Zangetsu Black, Chris Chan's Phantom Bottle Collection, Jay Sorensen, Gravy, GP Does, Super Kame Jizzler, Greg the Rich, TJ, Trap Lordius, Grizzly Slug, Bob Skywalker, Just a Normal Bottle of Mustard, Ignatius Bartleby Arlington, JK's Productions, Brazilian Dude, Snowshoes, Daniel Larson, Spaghetti Jelly, Clowny, Black Metaler 666, Radon, Melissa Boomer, Isaiah, Chef Meme Maker, Dalton, Sky Fitzpatrick, and Mick Surly. You guys are all goats, and all y'all know that if you've made it to the end of this video, you're a goat as well. I always say at the end of these, but thank you everyone who's watched and all the support all you guys have given me. It makes these videos so fun to uh, so fun to put out there, knowing that you guys are enjoying them. And uh, and yeah. I just hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Now, we're looking at the weekend now, my friends, and it's going to be a good one. So just kick back, relax, have a chill time, go chill with your friends, just go, go go do something that makes you like just not have a care in the world a lot of times life gets hard a lot of times you look for a way to just kind of chill out break away from all that shit and not think about it go find something that you enjoy and go do it my friends and go love it 
So, you know, it's it's not the most, like, groundbreaking advice, but I just want you guys to have a go, go have a good time in life. So, until next time, I'm going to be out of here, and take care, guys. I'll see you then.